Hi, I'm Mike and I'm going to talk to you about a new feature that we just added to the SEO competition module. If you haven't seen this module before, it allows you to take the top page of results for a keyword uh, in Google and analyze the websites to see why they might rank for that keyword. What the new feature does is allows you to add your own websites to this list and see how, that, uh, that's, how well that's optimized for that keyword. So as an example, I'll use the keyword electric guitar and we'll analyze the vintage electric guitars or guitarblog.com. create a new project and we go to SEO competition and we hit generate results we just gotta wait while that goes away and gets the top 10 results okay there's the results I'll just hide this so we can get some space okay if you haven't seen this before the different columns correspond to different factors uh, that you can optimize for your website uh, BLP is one of the most important ones that's backlinks to a page that's the number of uh, links on the web pointing to this page um, the over here we have title, URL, uh, meta tag description. So what this is asking is whether or not the keyword that we've got is being mentioned in these different things on the page. Uh, so that's pretty important too. Uh, the new feature is this button down here. I'll just click it. Okay, so now we can add our own URLs. Uh, I'll add a couple. Okay, let's go. So it's just collecting information on those pages. There we go, it's back. Okay, so now we can see uh, above the top page of results in Google, uh, we can see our own added pages. Uh, CNN's a pretty well optimized page, uh, although over here we can see it's not optimized with this keyword phrase, whereas Vintage Electric Guitar Blog is uh, over here. Um, I'll just get rid of CNN because that's not really relevant. Okay, so that's the first thing we can do. Um, something that's worth remembering is here I put in www.vintageelectricguitarblog. Google doesn't necessarily consider these two, this and the version without the www, to be the same. So if I do this, we might get back a different result. Let's have a look. Okay, so you can see actually the number of backlinks to vintageelectricguitarblog.com uh, without the www is actually different to the one with the www. Uh, but in this case, most other things seem to be the same, so they're both page rank three. Um, that's worth knowing. Okay, so we've analyzed the front page of this blog. Um, something else that we can do is analyze the page within the blog, so I'll show you how to do that. Uh, click on the add URL again, and we here's a URL I prepared earlier. We'll just add that. That's a post within this blog. Um, so that's the address there. So you can see this particular post has uh, 12 um, backlinks, uh, same domain backlinks. That's the number of backlinks to the domain as a whole, um, but different optimization over here. So it's the tag, the uh, keyword electric guitar is not mentioned within the meta description tag. Apart from that, it's more or less the same. Okay. Um, Something that still works, it was in there previously, um, which you might not have known about, is the ability to analyze the backlinks, the backlinks to the page. So I'll just click the drop down here. This will be quite quick because uh, there's only 12 backlinks. If we do PR analysis here, we'll do that. Okay, that was fairly quick. Uh, what happens here is um, there's a total of 12 backlinks to the page, uh, which we knew already. Uh, 11 of them have page rank zero, which is pretty much no page rank, so it doesn't really count much, although it counts. Uh, there's one link of page rank four, um, which is fairly high to this, uh, to this post. Um, so that's a fairly useful. The other thing we can do is anchor text analysis. This might take longer. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, so that's come back with the results we wanted. Um, now this is the text of uh, different links that link to this page. So there's eight links on the web somewhere that say have the text Gabriel V18 amplifier dash fantastic amp so on um, these are these text is really important because this text is essentially what causes you to rank for a keyword if the keyword phrase is mentioned within the link of some text pointing to this page then you're likely to rank for that page um, it does two things so it counts the number of times that this particular phrase is used in a link and it also analyzes the page ranks well that's done if you've already analyzed the page ranks up here um, so six of the, these links that have this text have page rank zero and two of them have page rank four, which again, as I said before, was quite high. Um, okay, so that's that feature. Um, that works for any of the, uh, 
any of the results here, not just the custom results. Um, okay, so you've seen the new feature, add custom URL, um, some uses for this. Uh, obviously, you can analyze the front page of your page, you, uh, of your website. You can analyze multiple pages within your website. Um, you could use this perhaps to consider how you might get a double listing for some keywords. So you may try and optimize two of your pages for one keyword, maybe get a double listing uh, in Google that is. Um, you might have a Squidoo lens uh, that you might want to analyze. You can just chuck the URL for that in, that'll work the same way. Uh, you, you may even want to analyze a competitor's site that's not yet in the top 10 for this result, but you might think it's going to be, so you can look at how well that competitor um, is optimized. You, you can chuck any URL into this and it'll, it'll go away and analyze it for you. Uh, so that's the new feature. Um, have fun with it.